people see the way that scores turn out at Worlds and they're confused how a team that does so well all year all of a sudden doesn't score so high in certain sections. Or I think if we look at the score sheets now, that could answer a lot of people's questions ahead of time. What we're going to look at is the difference between the USASF score sheet, which is used at Worlds, and the United scoring system, which is used by the varsity brands. And the majors was actually scored on the USASF score sheet. So the degree of difficulty is a little bit different on the USASF score sheet in the stunting and the tumbling sections as well. It's far more comparative. We have the score sheet for everyone to look at as well on here. One of the major differences between the United score sheet and the USASF score sheet is that the senior and open level six teams and co-ed teams on the USASF score sheet are scored out of a 170, whereas United scoring is a 100. So the USASF score sheet is broken down into multiple categories, right? So the categories are as follows. We have stunting and you have your stunt technique and your stunt difficulty. Now, anyone who's listening, remember, when a team is performing, there's a judging panel, right? The judging panel has a judge for each section that's going to dictate the difficulty. Their only job is to count every single element in the stunt section or in the tumbling section, and then they are the one that gives the team the difficulty score. You have another judge on that same category whose job is only to look at execution. USASF score sheet has a couple of differences I want to go over as well. The standing tumbling difficulty score is out of a 10. Most teams are going to get into the high range, which is a 6 to 10. And to get into the high range, a majority of your team needs to perform one level appropriate pass in standing tumbling. And a level appropriate pass for level six could be a standing full, a two to a double, a two to a whip double, a one to full, anything like that. A majority of your team needs to perform one level appropriate pass. What that means is to get into the six to 10 point range. That's the minimum. It's not like a checklist. It's saying to even get into the six to 10 point range, a majority of the team needs to perform one level appropriate pass. The same exact concept applies to the stunting categories as well. So you're going to have one judge whose job is to look at the stunt difficulty and it's cumulative, which means all of the stunts throughout the routine, just like the tumbling, there is a high range um, in stunt difficulty, it's going to be scored out of 20. So to get into the 12 to 20 range, a majority of the athletes need to perform a level appropriate skill and the team needs to perform multi-base and single base stunts on a co-ed team, aka they need to see co-ed stunts as well. So to get into the 12 to 20 range, a majority of your team needs to do level appropriate stunts now, I want to bring up something about what level appropriate looks like on the USASF score sheet as opposed to United scoring. With the United scoring system, there's level appropriate docs, so you know exactly what elements get what points, right? With the USASF score sheet, level appropriate is actually considered anything that is truly level six. On the United scoring system, for instance, let's say you did a full and a half up immediate stretch. That is considered an elite level appropriate skill, right? On the USASF score sheet, a level appropriate skill is anything that is not legal in level five. So you'd want to do one and three quarter up immediate body position since that's not legal in level five. Um, double up immediate lib as well is not legal in level five. So that would be level appropriate on any level six team. And that would be just to get you into the 12 to 20 range. That doesn't mean that you're going to score a 20. It means that you're just going to be getting into that 12 to 20 range. Obviously at Worlds and on the USASF score sheet, rewinds are going to be I, it's You can't say it's required, but it's a true level six appropriate skill. Inversions with a half twist, a full and a half switch up, full around TikToks at the, you know, high to high and full around TikToks to immediate body position. And of course, kick double dismounts as well. 
all of those elements are going to get you into the 12 to 20. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to score a 20 in stunt difficulty. It means that you're going to be a contender to get into that range. And it's the same concept to pyramid and to jumps and all of the other things. But I have to just reiterate one more time, level appropriate on the USASF score sheet is different than what we're looking at at NCA and cheer sport and ACA and battle and GSSA and Palm Springs. You know what I mean? 